Welcome back. You're still watching Morning Live. Now, Born Racer is a gripping emotional documentary on the life of Chad Leclo, a professional swimmer who has overcome tremendous obstacles in his pursuit of excellence in the swimming world. Collective memory will have the world reminiscing on the 31st of July 2012 when a 19-year-old Chad stunned the swimming world by beating the greatest swimmer of all time at the London Olympics. Set to premiere on the 30 on the 30th of June this morning we chat to the Olympian swimmer on his documentary Chad a very good morning to you a warm welcome to morning live I mean the filming of this documentary started in 2018 looking at the end product now had you expected things to turn out the way they did first of all good morning everybody good morning South Africa um yeah it's it's crazy to think that you know it's been four years of, of filming now and uh you know when we started filming in 2019 it was just a journey for the olympics in 2020 and you know hopefully a, a winning story and then you know the obstacles hit uh 2020 2021 and it became a full-blown four and a half year journey through you know the ups and downs of you know my life and i think a lot of people can relate to that so yeah, <laughs> it's crazy to think where we are right now. Yeah. Without giving away too much, let's summarize what the documentary is about. I think without giving away too much, it's just it's just a real story, you know, but, you know, someone that was kind of on top of the world for a long time and then, you know, had a bit of a dip and then was getting ready to come back and then having all the obstacles thrown his way from you know, not being able to train, COVID, uh, a couple of other things, which I'm not going to mention, um, and just being in a really dark place and, you know, hitting rock bottom, you know, the beginning of uh, January 2021, where I was, in, you know, in a really bad state of depression. And it documents all that up until, you know, the comeback, which was you know, at the end of last year. So, mm -hmm. yeah. And speaking about that dark period, I mean, speak to us about how the swimming world and how it deals with issues like depression, like you suffered uh, at that time and how you came out of that dark period. You know what? It's 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 a it's, it's kind of like everywhere at the moment. It's it's we're still very new to it, I think, because you know in the swimming community, it's it's a very lonely sport. You know, like we're always in the pool, we head down. You know, it's it's a very individualized sport, even if you are with a team. Mm. And I think sometimes people don't know what really goes on in the life of, especially a swimmer, but even other athletes. You know, especially individual sports where you're not around so many people all the time. And I think you know it was just a combination of so many things. But I'm very grateful to my family. I'm very grateful to my team that helped me get out of that, that place. And, um, you know, I think, like I've said before, you, you judge a man's character not for how he celebrates victory, but for when his back's against the wall. And that's that's what I pride myself on, you know, after the, the terrible times that we had as a family and, and, and that I had personally, I'm just happy to come out on top. And I don't mean that in terms of winning gold medals. I mean that in just in terms of life, mm. because that's more important than anything, you know, so... Yeah, hopefully the story can can be some sort of uh, some sort of inspiration for you know some of the South Africans and uh, yeah, I just try to keep everything as honest as I could and really just have you know guys with me for four years like through the ups and downs. So mm -hmm. yeah, we'll see. And speaking of that, you know, they say one of the biggest um, teachers is failure. And in the documentary, one of the issues and one of the um, periods that you touch on is obviously the Rio and the Tokyo Olympics. Um, speak to us about how failure changed you and how it, uh, you know, uh, made you a better swimmer. Absolutely. I've, I've had much more defeats than I have had victories. And I think people don't don't know that you know i think in life you know you have to lose a hell of a lot more than you win and uh you know 2016 for me was 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 one of the biggest disappointments because i was heading in there as the defending champion 24 years of age prime of my life um you know and i came fourth in the race that i should have won against michael phelps you know and, and i even remember the morning live interview with the uh, valian you know it was like chad for losers and in the internet explodes and they had that whole meme and everything and it was just like a really uh, tough thing to go through as as someone that um you know hasn't well hadn't lost in four years you know, and, and you know, having one bad race can kind of change the course of a, a you know a career because obviously you wait you wait every four years for that moment you know mm, mm. and even though i got the two silvers which was amazing and uh i'm very grateful to that it just was something i couldn't find any victory out of you know just just not winning like i, I was set out to do you know yeah and uh obviously tokyo was a different story because it was COVID and you know, it was, yeah, you, you'll see in the dark, you'll see in the dark. Yeah. I don't want to give too much away, but yeah, it's, uh, it's ups and downs. And I think, like I said, I have another opportunity next year 
in Paris to, uh, you know, to hopefully get that back. But, you know, more importantly, I'm just happy with where I am in my life and just grateful for everything that I have. You know, I have such an amazing family, such amazing support from everyone and, and I have South Africa behind me so I can ask for nothing else. Yeah. And talk to us about what uh, watching this documentary and putting it together, what did it teach you about yourself? Did it almost feel like you were looking in the mirror? Absolutely. It was it was it was kind of strange because, you know, when you're sitting there, right, and you're in like the heat of moments and it's like things you don't really want to have a camera there, you know, and it's like they there. And then you realize only afterwards because you forget about it after a while, you know, the first couple of weeks, it's kind of just, you know, oh, okay, it's there, it's there. But then after like six, seven months, it's like you forget the camera's there and you start to really be yourself. And I think that's what made it really uh, unique, you know, because you'll see a few things that I think some people will be surprised about, you know, and uh, yeah, it just became more of a real story for me. And um, at the end, it, it, it taught me a lot of lessons because for me, I've been chasing gold medals my whole life, right? Since I was 15 years old, that's all what's made me happy. But I've realized through this journey and through this development, through this doc, um, you know, there are, there are more important things than, than winning Olympics. But yeah. of course, I still want to do that, you know. <laughs> <laughs> of course. Uh, what are you hoping the next athlete takes away from watching this documentary or the ordinary man on the street? I think for the next athletes, it's just very simple, you know, just resilience. Um, like I said earlier, you know, you, coming back from, from, from adversity because... Everybody can be good when times are good. Everybody can train hard when you're feeling fresh. It's, when times are tough, that's when you've got to push through. And I think that's what the lesson hopefully is at the end of the day. It's just perseverance, never giving up, defeat after defeat for four years, and just not, you know, still believing that there was, the light was going to come at the end of the tunnel. And I think for the ordinary man or woman, I think it's just, you know, we all, we all have difficulties in our life and in our personal life. And sometimes people don't know the demons that we are fighting. But it's important to go get out there, seek help, seek a best friend, a parent, a brother, a sister, whoever, and just talk about it because sometimes, you know, you feel like you have to be this, this brave person, especially as South Africans, you know, uh, the stigma, you know, we are very, we are a very tough nation and I believe that, but sometimes that's to our disadvantage because we, we keep things in and we always like, you know, it's, it's not cool to speak about mm. being vulnerable. And I think that's what, what is very, very important, especially in this day and age with, everything that's going on in the yeah. world, you know. Chad, before I let you go, I mean, it's um, almost a year to uh, Paris 2024. In terms of readiness, in terms of pace and getting ready for Paris 2024, how would you say um, you are ready and the process of getting ready for Paris 2024? Absolutely. No, I'm very, very excited. Um, you know, hopefully next year will be the, you know, the biggest moment of my, of my life. Um, you know, I think I've done everything I wanted to do in the sport, but I'm still chasing that Olympic gold. And uh, look, a medal would be unbelievable. A medal or two would, would cement me, I think, as, as you know, hopefully the best, the best ever, you know, in South Africa. And uh, a gold medal, I think, would, would, would put me up there and, and, you know, in the greats in swimming, which is something that I am obviously chasing. But uh, in yeah. terms of my preparation, I was, um, I've been a little bit sick since nationals and since, the, you know, since we did the launch in, in April in Santon. So I'm not sure about going to World Championships next month. We might be giving that a miss and just training through and just getting myself ready uh, for next year. And uh, yeah, we're going to be in good shape. Whatever happens next year, I'll be swimming best times. At 32 years of age, you know, hopefully we're going to shock the world again. <laughs> Chad, you know what? I have no doubt that you will shock the world. Thank you so much for uh, waking up for us this Thank morning. You. Well, well, you were in the pool already anyway. Chad Lacroix <laughs> is the South African swimmer who has taken the world by storm, becoming Olympic world and Commonwealth champion. We just spoke to him about his upcoming documentary, Born Racer.